Welcome to the show. And I'm not going to waste any time today because I'm already about 10 minutes late. I wanted to start at 3 and didn't give myself enough time. Switched the computer on and got a message saying that my bias was corrupted, so that was a good start. But, uh, yeah, this is the first Club Kirby of the week, and we're going to continue working on the page that we were working on during our impromptu stream on Thursday. And we're going to try and get back into the swing of things. Get some momentum going after our long break over the, over the uh, second half of the summer there. So, what's been happening since uh, the last stream? So, uh, Sunday night I went back and did some work on the second panel and most of the art there is... Well, this music is bugging me. I think we need something a bit more mellow. That's a bit better. Okay. Uh, so, Sunday night I did some more work on uh, the character art for the second panel. And uh, that's mostly done now. So I'm moving on and working on the art for panel number three. And I don't have the background layer turned on just now, but you can see the underlying sort of... Uh, the rough version of the art and overlaid on top of that is the revised art that we're actually going to use in the comic. Very sm uh, very, a very small illustration of Sadie here, so we're not gonna, you know, overdo things and uh, add too many tiny little details. What I should do is, before I go any further, is bring up Sadie's model sheet in another window just so... She remains visually consistent. And I can't find it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is just going to take a sec. There we go. Okay. Again, I really wasn't set up this afternoon for streaming and I need to give myself more time to get organised before we start the show. I think the plan is every weekday this week we'll be streaming and it's probably going to be at about 3pm-ish. Just add in some of the tiny little details. They don't need to be perfect, especially not at this scale.
I went to add in the teeth here. There we go. And again, you can kind of see how the really rough initial sort of sketch, most of the, most of what we need is in there. We just have to sort of refine it. There's not a huge amount of difference between the final version and, and the rough version. We're just sort of adding out all the little details, you know. Making sure that the that everything is a bit more anatomically correct in terms of you know everything's proportioned correctly. So just a more refined version of the initial sketch. And like I was talking about on the Thursday stream, you're kind of trying to uh, obtain a lot of the spirit and the energy of the original art. Okay, I don't like that hand at all. Um, I think I'm going to have to go in and just redo this.
No, I still don't like that thumb. The fingers are all right, but this thumb is a bit strange. Just something simple like that, that'll do. Um, okay, let's move on. That's a little design quirk that I keep forgetting is uh, Sadie's blazer has two buttons on the left side and one button on the right and the two circles up here next to the tie aren't buttons, those are, well, <laughs> Americans call them buttons, we call them badges, they're Pin badges, I guess you could call them. One of the things that is really um, different about this set of pages is that I'm doing everything natively within Clip Studio Paint and as a result of that Yeah, and everything isn't uh, everything isn't um, scanned in in a high res format, and in fact, that's kind of a good thing because it means that I keep having to zoom out to see what things are actually going to look like when everything is zoomed in. You get these very jagged. You know, it almost looks like pixel art. It's, very low res, which is not normally how I work. And it's kind of good because that sort of, you know, the constrictions of the format force me not to dwell on things, but at the same time, it also kind of bugs me. I kind of wish I was working on a higher res canvas, to be honest with you. Ultimately, we're working for the final output for these pages is supposed to be, you know, they're designed for social media and uh, screen resolutions and not for print. So the pages don't need to be high res, I suppose.
and a good rule of thumb normally is that you would work in high res uh, in order to uh, you know if you want to be able to print the work later on or collect it as a book or whatever but I'm not under any sort of uh, illusions at this point that anything like that is ever going to happen so it's almost like why bother <laughs> that's kind of a very fatalistic view but a very pessimistic view but I don't know I'm very cynical sometimes in that way I don't know what happened over over the uh, the summer. I would swear that I cannot do my legs anymore. <laughs> they just sort of come out, or maybe it's the, again, maybe it's the limitations of the format. Maybe it's just because you don't have a great deal of scope for refinement and just getting all the little nuances of of the anatomy right at this scale but I swear that every time I have to draw legs now they just come out looking really strange it's really starting to bug me
And I think that's worse. The feet are almost too stubby. And they would look better if they were... If the foot was lengthened out a bit, I think. Yeah, that is, that food is much, that leg is much longer than the other one. Um, we're not going to need to the whole thing, we'll just pull this one down a bit. Now they're about even. And hopefully that is also gonna keep the legs from looking too st that the legs are looking a bit better now. Um I was gonna say we don't want them to look too stubby, but I mean Sadie is kinda stubby anyway, that's She's kind of low to the ground, but the legs are going to look better if they are extended out a bit either way. Uh, and she's a bit more proportionate that way. As I've spoken about on stream before, one of the most difficult aspects of drawing the characters in Kirby is in the school setting with the uniforms that, that the girls wear and the uh, skirts are so uh, difficult because sometimes it's like uh, it looks like they're wearing 
or uh, when you're trying to draw them, it can feel like you're drawing a like a giant sail or something like that. And you're just this giant sort of wedge of fabric, and getting the length and the shape of it right can be very challenging. And then it can have a knock-on effect because if the length of it and the width of it isn't correct, then you know when you're drawing the legs underneath it then that can cause problems as well. And I was talking on the last stream about keeping references for items of clothing and in particular for, uh, you know, the sorts of pleated skirts, I have to keep a lot of photo references and things like that because depending on what the characters are doing that sort of uh, clothing can, uh, those the sorts, sorts of uh, outfits could be very difficult to uh, render effectively, to illustrate effectively. If you have to start doing characters at an odd angle, um, or posed in odd ways, it can get very challenging. So. And yeah, like I said earlier, now it's that back from my summer break, and it's almost like I've forgotten how to draw the human body as it is, so that doesn't help either. But you know, give it a couple of days, maybe I'll be back in uh, the rhythm of things.
And this is really the kind of thing that I shouldn't be agonizing over, but the shape of the hair is really off model there. It should really start off very thin at the midpoint and uh, if it comes down it, uh, it expands Yeah, I really don't know about this work out this resolution because I just can't it's really starting to irritate me when I zoom in and I'm having to work at this sort of level of, of detail I feel like I don't know, it's like, uh, it's like I'm creating art for s teletext or something, it's, uh, that's a dated reference, but. This kind of blocky pixel thing, I know, like I said earlier, it's, uh, only I ever see everything this zoomed in, you know, when, when the page goes up on. Instagram or whatever, nobody's going to see it at this kind of level of detail, but it, it still is really uh, I can't get used to it I think I might have to change things up if not uh, on this page, then on subsequent pages because I'm just not feeling it, you know? Oh yeah, I've got to pull this bit of the hair. Um, Gotta pull that in as well because obviously it needs to be parallel and both sides it needs to go like that. It's really a case of uh, speed is is the name of the game here, and the most important thing to me is getting everything done quickly, but at the same time. everything doesn't look a certain way and uh, if it's impeding my enjoyment of actually doing things because I'm having to do everything in this sort of very crude pixelated fashion then I think I'm going to have to make changes
Okay, and almost goes back to the age old thing as well of age old for me anyway. The age old thing of I can spend hours agonizing over these tiny little details and ultimately it's gonna go up on Instagram or some place like that and people look at it for at most a couple of seconds and then they'll never see it or think of it again and so I have to think about is this a good investment of my time you know and is it uh, when I'm struggling with some of these things is it really worth getting uh, emotionally invested in because it's important to me now in the moment but in the great scheme of things that's all it is it's just a blip on the radar sadly but anyway um, And this is um, something else I need to deal with. So Kevin's hair needs to slip over the shoulder like that so that the front part of it that we always see hanging down when we're looking at, looking at it from you know, the front view logically it needs to come down here somewhere so we've got to make sure that element is thrown in And I think I've certainly talked about it on stream before. I can't remember if we've ever looked at it, but I have. I know I've posted it on social media at some point, but I did a whole set of turnarounds for Karen's head because she's the main character, so she got a bit more focus in terms of having you know multiple model sheets so that I could keep everything consistent and the big part of it was uh, illustrating her from every angle or every well not every angle but you know at, at different angles to get an idea of how the hair should look from every position, so you know, from the back, from the front, from the three-quarter view, and so on. So 
It's a bit bumpy. I think we need to pocket his eye up here as well because otherwise I pull the pupil up I should say because otherwise she's not looking at Sadie as she's talking, she's looking at her feet. So there we go. Now, what I'm very tempted to do now that I'm thinking about it is once I'm finished drawing this page, I might just I might just uh, create a more high res canvas and just go over this whole page line by line, make a more high res version of it. And it you know, once I have everything on on the page, it wouldn't even take me that much time. Because I really don't like this Lovez look. That's a little bit too tall. Maybe we could pull that back down a bit to about here.
Okay. So I think this has all been educational anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off working on this page in this low res format. And yeah, that's what I, yeah, what I was saying earlier. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, this um. I don't know how this is. 300 dpi. <laughs> is that correct? Well, the canvas is bigger than I thought it was. I assume we were working at uh, 72 dpi. Okay. Shows what I know. I guess if anything that shows you how how ridiculously high it is I usually work at that. I thought this was 72 dpi. And it's actually 300. But it still feels super crude and pixelated to me. Okay then, uh, we're going to wrap up the show for today in a couple of minutes. So the plan is, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow at about the same time, 3pm-ish I think. And if I'm diligent, I can keep working on this page, do a bit more work today, and maybe get everything done. And I'll show you the result tomorrow. We're feeling that if I don't get anything else done today, <laughs> we'll pick up from here. But we're making some headway with it, and this page hasn't dragged on for too long. We're definitely sort of ironing out our processes here at this stage to uh, find the quickest way to just natively draw everything within Clip Studio Paint instead of 
penciling everything by hand or scanning everything or cleaning up anything. It's like, just let's just do it all, you know, within the, within the actual package using, uh, just do it all digital. So, with that said, I want to thank you for watching today. I hope you'll come back and join me tomorrow and for the rest of, of uh, this week as we continue to chip away at this and uh, get this next set of pages done. Uh, but for now, uh, this has been the Monday edition of Club Curvy and I want to thank you for watching.